So a $25 microphone, can it actually really sound good? Right now I've got it plugged into my Sony ZV-E10 and got the audio knocked down to about negative 12 dB, but a very unique microphone from Ulanzi. We'll talk more about that coming right up. So if you saw my community post, I'd made a comment about a weird looking microphone. And yes, it is a little bit weird looking because a lot of the conventional shotgun microphones that I've reviewed in the past, whether it's from DD or from Movo, and by the way, we'll talk about Movo here in a little bit, but they're in a different shape, just like the Rode, the little video mic pro. Uh, it is like your typical small shotgun microphone. This one here has got some girth to it. Don't say it. But it reminds me a little bit of the new offering from Sennheiser as far as the, the width of it and the size of it. But does it sound good? Now, right now, like I said, I've got it plugged into my Sony ZV-E10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just unplug it and see how the onboard microphone sounds versus this. All right, what you're hearing right now is the onboard microphones of the Sony ZV-E10 one two three four five one two three four five okay now i got a little bit of a breeze that's hitting on this ulanzi microphone and now i just want to test how it rejects sound and from my initial testing it does sound like it's it really accentuates the high end and does not give you a lot of bassy end or low end in the frequency response but with the breeze hitting the microphone there shouldn't be any breeze being picked up but now let's check out its uh, its pickup pattern to see how it sounds. So this is straight on the microphone. One, two, three, four, five. To the right side. One, two, three, four, five. From behind the camera. One, two, three, four, five. To the left of the camera. One, two, three, four, five. And now back onto the front of the camera. So now we see how this sounds, but let's compare it to. Okay, so there's two microphones that I really like. Definitely like DD microphones. Love my S Mic 2. Fantastic shotgun microphone. What I use at the studio and here at the house for my main talking head videos. But there's also another microphone that I like, and that is Movo. So we're gonna do a quick little audio test between this microphone, the Movo VXR10, and then also the DD. D4 Mini. Let me put this tripod up here. Got to put the tripod up because the ZV-E10 stabilization is not that great, unfortunately. Uh, so, quick little audio test with the Ulanzi 12345, and now we're going to go to the DD D4 Mini. Okay, now we're doing the audio with the DD D4 Mini. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And if you listen, you know the DD, it's got a really nice sound to it. And they've got a reputation that kind of speaks for itself. But now let's go to the Movo VXR10. So now I've got the Movo VXR10 plugged in. Quick little audio test. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So what I'll do is I'll do the one, two, three, four, five samples between the Lanzi, the DD, and this Movo, kind of back and forth a couple of times. And by the way, there is no audio processing being done to any of the audio clips that you've heard through this entire video. We'll just let the Ulanzi kind of stand on its own, see how it sounds in comparison, and overall, is it really worth your money? But at $25, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. 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 But you know, what about those people that say, you know what, I don't want to use it with a big uh, mirrorless camera or any of that because when I vlog, I want to be able to get some stable footage. So there's nothing like using an action camera. Right now, this is the GoPro Hero 8 Black shooting 4K 30 frames per second with the media mod. So a quick little audio test, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we'll try this Ulanzi and see how it sounds. Okay, so now I've got it on the GoPro Hero 8 Black with the Lanzi plugged into the media mod. A little quick audio test, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I've said it for many years, if you're gonna get a vlogging camera, 
strictly for the ability to be able to walk around, get some nice stable footage, an action camera is definitely the way to go. But let's try this with another camera. And of course, if we're going to try this with an action camera, got to try it with the Osmo Action. I mean, not make any handling noises. I like the original DJI Osmo Action. I thought its rock steady was fantastic. I thought the image quality was fantastic. And it was really groundbreaking at its time. Now, compared to the GoPro Hero 10, things have changed up a little bit. But a quick little audio test with the DJI Osmo Action. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And if you can see in frame here, I've got the Sonova uh, audio adapter with the uh, Ulanzi microphone, and we'll see how that sounds. We have the Ulanzi plugged into the DJI Osmo Action. Quick little audio test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How does it sound with this action camera? Like I said, when it comes to vlogging, action cameras are definitely the way to go, especially if it's one that's got really good stabilization. But let's try another camera. Now on to the action camera that really started it all for me. Not the first camera that I reviewed, but the first one that I thought was, wow, 4K image quality, really good stabilization, good onboard microphones. Yes, the Sony FDRX3000. And right now we're listening to the audio coming from the forward-facing stereo microphones. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I will plug in the Ulanzi, see how it sounds. Now I've got the Ulanzi plugged into the Sony FDRX3000. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think the audio is going to be really good out of this. So we're at the part of the video where we have to talk about the quality of this microphone from Ulanzi. So let's talk about the pros first. First, very unique build on this. I do like the fact that it has a screw-in type 3.5 millimeter that screws into the back of the microphone capsule. I like the fact that on the cold shoe mount, it's got a quarter 20 on the bottom. I like the fact that it comes with two cables. You've got the TRS to TRS cable for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. And then you've also got the TRS to TRS cable for your cell phone if you want to go that route with it. I like the fact that it comes with a dead cat. Now, if you heard in that one portion of the video where I said that there's a little bit of a breeze that kind of whipped up, and I thought that the microphone was not going to pick it up, it did pick it up. And it's kind of weird because I looked at a couple of videos, or other videos, reviewing this microphone, and they didn't get any wind noise at all. And that was just a very light breeze. I would say that it's probably around 10 miles an hour and definitely picked it up. I wanted to go back out and do some more testing with the dead cat on it in the wind because I'm sure this thing is this thing is really really nice and I'm sure that it would have performed better out of the wind unfortunately it started raining and we've got rain in the forecast for the next six days 90 percent rain and thunderstorms so it's a much needed thing here in Texas but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do that uh, when it comes to the audio portion, which is going to be the most important thing because, yes, this is going to be a little bit long because I want to really give you a detailed synopsis of why I recommend something and why I don't recommend something. And it's not that I don't recommend this microphone because I do like, I do like the shape of this compared to like the Movo or the Deity or the Rode or all the other little mini shotgun microphones that are out there. And I like it because it reminds me a little bit about the new style Sennheiser microphones that are out. And I do want to get one of the Sennheisers because I'm looking for one microphone that I could just say, okay, this is my go-to microphone and that's it. Uh, but with microphone reviews, you know, I get so many sent to me and it's kind of hard to I pick and choose which one do I like, which one do I not like. Sometimes this one sounds better than the other one. This one here favors high frequency much more than what I prefer. I thought that the Movo sounded very good. I think that the Deity D4 Mini sounded very good. Uh, by the way, the microphone that you're listening to right now is the Deity SMI2. No, Deity did not sponsor this video. We're talking about the Ulanzi, and Ulanzi didn't sponsor this video either. Uh, the Senate just for my honest review So many things I like about this. I just wish that the frequency response was a little bit better on this and If you really listen closely, you could hear the background ambiance was I mean it was picking up stuff on the street Much more than what I would have liked uh, 
the Movo, for the longest time, I always said, for the money, you, you cannot beat the VXR10. Because for 30 I think it's $39, sometimes it's $37, it's a great sounding microphone. This one here for 25 bucks is not a bad sounding microphone. It's just not what I'm used to. So you may say, hey, Andre, I like the way it looks. I like the way it sounds. I like the security of the screw on uh, for the 3.5 millimeter going into the back of the microphone. These are all the things that I like about it. And I can't fault you for that. $25 is better than $37 or $39. But in my opinion, I just wish the frequency response was better. They claim that it's got internal noise dampening, uh, kind of like a little foam shield around the capsule so that you really don't need a dead cat in a lot of situations. That's not the case with this. It does pick up with noise and it did pick it up pretty, pretty substantially. Uh, the dead cat will fix that. Uh, I do like the size of it. Even with a GoPro Hero uh, 8 Black in its wide mode, you didn't see the microphone. With the Osmo Action, you didn't see the microphone. Uh, I will say that, in my opinion, just listening back to the audio, I think that the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod microphones actually sounded better than this, a little bit fuller. And I'm really interested to hear your comments. So comment down below, tell me what you hear. Now keep in mind, I'm getting old. I mean, I got ringing in my left ear ever since I got COVID back in January that never went away. Uh, it is annoying. So, you know, maybe my hearing is going out because I am 58 years old. So, but for 25 bucks, if I was just starting out, is this worthwhile? Could be. Product links in the description below. If you're interested in this Ulanzi, I'll put a link also to the Movo and also to the DDD4 Mini, just so you guys can kind of check it out for yourself. And as always, I'll catch you in the next review. Bye-bye. Something's loose on my handle here. So if you hear any noises, what is making that noise? Something's loose, loosey-goosey. Oh, microphone's loose. Quick fire. Gotta take my teeth out. <laughs> Cause I'm old. No, these are these are mine. By the way, I was at the Starbucks earlier today with the wife, and uh, the guy asked me, "Okay, what name can I put on the card or on your cup?" And I said Bueller, because I just thought it would be funny if we bought coffee, walked out, and they're sitting there, Bueller, Bueller. If you're old like me, you'll get it. You still here? You gotta go now. Bye. All right. That's it.